Welcome to Dan ARG YouTube. Fares say one politician from APC for Edo State where they look for ticket to take contest for the office of governor of Edo State. Don't they use sentiment take the talk? He won't divide Edo people. This now waiting if they let Edo people know. Make I leave you, make you hear from Fares. Enjoy the video. Good afternoon and happy new year, all of you out there. Happy New Year from Edo State, the heartbeats of the nation. So recently, a candidate of the APC has been going around, you know, in meetings and trying to wipe up tribal sentiments. Uh, you know, that the Benis, this, the Benis, that, and all of that, you know. Um, I think this particular candidate is not a good student of history. Because in my last video, I did explain that Edo people are very, very sophisticated politically. You cannot toss them around. You cannot fool them. You cannot fool Edo people at all. And the least that anybody can think that he can use to whip up sentiments here is to employ petty tribal sentiments. It doesn't work with, with us here in Edo State at all. It doesn't work at all. You should be able to tell us what you want to do for Edo people. You should be able to show us your antecedents. You have to show us that you have a history of working, that you have a history of development, self-development capacity to impact the people. You know, and politically, you must have the, the will and the sagacity to be able to move those states forward. So throwing up tribal sentiment does not work for us here in Edo at all. It doesn't. And let me let me inform and educate those who are trying to whip up tribal sentiments. In 2012, General Charles, who was the PDP candidate then, was from Edo South, a Bini man. He contested against Adam Sochomole, who was from Edo North. Not only did Adam Sochomole win in all 18 local governments, also won in General Charles' ward. What does that tell you? That our people are more interested in who we deliver capacity. They're more interested in, in, in the person that has capacity to deliver. They're more interested in your resume. They want to see somebody who has a history of performance, who has the experience, who has the technical know-how. Not tribal sentiment. It doesn't work here. So if you are contesting, you must be able to tell the people your plans for Edo people in order to show that you have a vision to move the state forward. And so far, there's only one person who has shown that capacity, who has shown that he's ready, who has shown that he has what it takes to become the next governor of Edo state. And that is Barista Aswe Godalo. He's not talking uh, tribal sentiments is not interested in whether you are from Ososo or you are from Igara, you are from uh, Uromi or you are from Epuma, you are from Uhonde. He sees all Edo people as one. He has a clear vision to develop all areas of Edo states. All areas of Edo states. And that is the kind of person that Edo people will vote for. So, my dear aspirants, take a clue from the man who is the talk of everywhere, who is the talk of town. Take a clue from him and redirect your step. Redirect your step. So that other people can take you serious. Maybe in the next eight years. But for now, Aswe Godalo is the chosen one. I'm wishing you all a happy new year and a prosperous 2024. Thank you and God bless you all. Now we don't hear from Fares. Let us know what you think for comment session. If you never subscribed to Dan ARG YouTube, try make you subscribe so that make you for the hear all the things where they happen for Nigeria. Make I leave you with this video. Make you help us share them. Thank you for watching Dan ARG YouTube.